Oh, baby, who doesn't love recurring revenue? You do, I do, we all do. But there's something that's even better than a typical recurring revenue program online, and that is, drum roll please, Evergreen Continuity. That's a program that's, as the old Ronco used to say, set it and forget it. It's the kind of program where you create it once and then it's dripped automatically to your customers. So for example, I just had a really good conversation with a longtime friend and client. He had a health membership, but I call it a membership. I'll put it in quotes because it wasn't really a membership site. It was simply a monthly PDF file which delivered all of the health content every month. Now here's the thing, because it was in the health space, the content didn't change. So if you joined today, you would get volume number one. And if your best friend Jenny joined three months from now on her first day, she would also get volume number one. Because everyone was starting at volume one, all you have to do is create everything ahead of time, batch it, and then drip the content to people as they join. It is insane because once you create the content, you're done. You don't have to keep updating it and then you could shift your focus to marketing and the front end and the promotion and getting people in. Now here is the rub, my friend. Evergreen continuity is not necessarily the best fit for all topics. So if you have a topic that is really current and new, things like crypto and AI, content on this becomes outdated sometimes in days and hours. If you had an evergreen continuity program talking about online marketing and you created it 15 years ago, today's update might be, hey, get listed on Alta Vista and set up an account on Friendster. Obviously, that stuff's outdated. Now, there are ways to create evergreen continuity in these topics, and I'll discuss that in a future video. But today, let's focus on markets that are a direct hit for evergreen continuity, and I call them the three H's. First H is health, and that's going to be fitness and workouts and nutrition and recipes and yoga and meditation and all that stuff that's health and maybe even sports performance as well. The second H is help and that's personal development and leadership and relationships and happiness and all that fun feel good stuff. And the third H and the third H is hobbies. It's gardening, it's collecting, it's knitting. So if you're in those three categories, if the content really doesn't change over time, if a recipe that works today is going to work a year from now or three years from now, that is a really good fit for evergreen continuity. But hold on, my friend, because we are just getting started on this topic. Make sure to subscribe to my site at ryanlee.com and check out this next video. So much recurring revenue and continuity awesomeness coming your way. Check it and see ya.